good afternoon everyone today we are here for the tutorial of database viewer and reporter now starting with the introduction of tutorial this tutorial will provide you introduction about text file database viewer our content of discussion are installation of our product introduction that how to use this product and installation requirements now starting with the installation of our product we just have to start the setup it we have can we have to press next and from here we could select our installation directory by default it is C drive and in programming folder programming files folder now after I have started the installation it will take few seconds for installation we have to wait for it now, now coming to this ba coming back to slides now starting with the introduction database viewer and reporter provide you with the facility of opening and query and report database even if there is no office component installed over system with this you could explore access 2003 access 2007 and XML database with this you could query database and can generate report for query output now first I should start this software database viewer. now starting with the listing of menus first menu is main and it has a sub menu open database this option leads you to select database and set connection to selected databases now I should go for a selection of database like I have selected open database I have selected and like I should go for a big database like it is Headmaster database. After I click save, it will automatically show the list of all the tables of the databases, and the table contains the list of all the column in it. And when I move a cursor over any of the column, it will show you the data type of that column. Now, in this, I could, I have to check the table name table and some of the columns which I want to show in my data set I could go for small text master item master high item master must should be good for your product for understanding now here if I check and table and I haven't selected any rows and I go on generate and on generate you could see there are many options like view first this would create an just a view of your table having its uh, uh, data as an output second option contains report it will automatically generate the report for the selected tables and rows now after you go on view uh, view and report it will generate report and as well as view of table and I will switch on to se uh, view separate report separate after some time okay now I selected view it will automatically populate the table the win form with table and its outputs and the output contains the selected column which we have checked now in this we could query with our own requirement like I have selected this where where group code equal to 4 after I click on save it will just query only the uh, all the accounts having group code 4 now if I want to generate its report I just have to click on report it will take a little time to generate report now here you could see you have a report full fledged report and this is the report viewer in this we have you have many things like you have different templates for the report you could specify your own header and footer like I have specified Yogesh text sapphire now you could check this at the bottom now you could also switch on to plain template that is it will ask you for prompt you for the input and text file 
after I click on this it will generate a normal plain report for this and you have a custom report also I will show you after some time now why this reporting services have such template and such an different view basically this is, is an only an HTML document which is being opened in an Internet Explorer this is an Internet Explorer not an a viewer from here you could export your report in many other format like Excel in Excel you could just right click on the doc uh, your report and select export to the Excel it will automatically export your report to the Excel you have been provided with other export services also like if you want if you want to save this report as it is as it is shown in this viewer you just have to select and specify its location after you see in MST format it will contain all the detail in the same order and this report could be mailed or do uh, or could be sent it or shared with any other options also. now coming to the print preview option now what is the what different this reporting services is from crystal report basically this reporting services provide you to change the layout of your report at run time which a crystal report does and ne uh, never provide never provides now here you could uh, set your own margin according to the margin your size of report will adjust automatically you could specify your own header and footer this all the services this all services are not available in Cristobal report like you select a custom you select a text sapphire production and you press ok it will automatically put this footer on the uh, report footer you could select you could zoom your page etc landscape etc etc now these are the options which is provided in this there is a custom template also which you can go for your own report 1298 sector 11 Panchkula you have to select a logo image you have to first select the format of your image and after this you have to specify its width and height otherwise it will take uh, 0 as default and this is footer like I want to text sapphire ok after I click on done it will create a custom report it will take a little time because of the large database now you could see this is a custom report and same all the export and other feature could be applied on this report also now doing work with other options like I go on item master and I click on report this will generate and report directly after you select the uh, table now from here this you could see the only four columns that is item name unit unit 1 unit 2 are been shown and same case you could apply different formatting to your reports now there is another option which is view separate and report separate now what this means basically when you press view it will create a child of this soft uh, this product uh, or this window the winform could not go outside this window but if you want to have a separate window for your output you could go for that also now this is this now if you want to remove some of the tables which you don't want to see in the list you could just right click on them and just remove them and if you have deleted some important table like I delete account master and you want it again you just have to click on refresh it will automatically populate all the table list and their column list under it now this is the tutorial about introduction to our database viewer and report components now coming to the reading section generate option 
in generate we have a view uh, sub sub uh, sub menu view option this generate the view of a table on winform here you could query from table using sql like i have a query wizard there this generate report uh, it report the report generate this generate a report in html format from here you could export the report in html xml and msd format view and report this option generate report and uh, view both on same time separate this option generate view and report in separate win form export to excel this is left uh, sorry i forgot i will introduce you with this again now in this if i check the three tables and i want to export them to the xml i just have to specify the destination like i specified desktop and i click on export it will export all the three table in an xml format and you could check it is as same as in the access table now this ex uh, xml files you could export to sql server and other component uh, uh, other databases also now this is the benefit of slide we don't forget anything if you have uh, which are mentioned in slide now coming to the installation requirement basically this server uh, this software just require an nordnet framework 3.5 which is available on the link provided in this slide and uh, it re require internet explorer for reporting basically we don't have to worry about internet explorer because this is available in most of the pieces in not only the most of the pieces, uh, also in all windows pc thank you for this watching this tutorial have a good day.